Yeah. Just like that, huh? Yeah, it's just like that. Good morning. This is my first question. No recording device, right? As per your stipulations. Nice. So, it's nice to meet. She makes a macchiato with this caramel drizzle that floats on the surface with the foam. It is a craving. So, I see your guest yeah. arrived. Yeah, I did. And I'm thirsty. Uh, you two can chit chat later. What would you like? A macchiato with extra caramel, and I'm guessing maybe a black coffee for the reporter with the puppy dog eyes. Anything to eat? Not today. I like mine black too. You mind if we begin? I do not. All right. Where do you come from? Or where do you tell people you're from? Way back when. Oh, as, as in where do you live? What do you think? I'm just going to give you an address? It's kind of cliche, don't you think? I do like to stand out. Isn't that kind of the opposite of what you're known for? Well, now who's dabbling in cliches? OK. So why go on record? Reclamation. I mean, look around you. Look at all these distracted assholes. Passively scrolling on their devices with their heads locked at a downward tilt. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was fun to watch in the beginning so much of this bullshit commotion, but now it's a virus. And it's one that we didn't start. The noise one. We weren't expecting that. And the truth is, nobody pays attention to me anymore. So what follows as you see it? This interview is our version of an open invitation. A return to vice. I mean, without seduction, temptation, no one is satisfied. And me and my soldiers, we stay trapped in our thirst. I mean, you can quote me. Seriously, start writing. I mean, take ambition, for example. That's been historically fertile ground. You publish your story, and you get your big break, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Good, just don't be so modest about it, man. Come on. Listen. Say my team and I, we work behind the scenes to orchestrate some random blowjob for you. I mean, same thing you want deep down. I have a family. Oh, please. Like you wouldn't savor every second of a sloppy and kind of dead smoldering waitress you and I in all damn day. That's not the point. That's exactly the point. I mean, your story drops and we managed to get your name in bright lights. Talk show, cable news, there you stand with your back against the wall of a cramped green room, right? Shooting your mayo down some hot stranger's throat. I can see those wheels turning right now. Cooking up a reason for you to deny your natural impulses. You know, I get the feeling that no answer's gonna suffice. It's your willow tree frame with those sad sunken shoulders that tell me fun is a very low priority for you, man. You're too beholden, like all these lemmings imprisoned by the expectations of others, failing on a daily basis to merely assert that denies you and me pleasure. You know what? I actually enjoy helping people. Besides, we're not here to talk about me anyway. Everyone around you, those family and friends who judge you behind your back as you try to be a good husband and father, they expect your exhaustion, and they don't even have the courage to admit that you matter only as long as the plates keep on spinning. You exist to check boxes, my friend. A 401k, a pretty backyard, some well-behaved kids, they're never gonna be impressed with you, Jeffrey. Neither is your wife. You can test me on it. Go home and count the distance between your wife's rare compliment and her next demand. Spouses rely on each other. You throw kids into the mix. Beholden is boring. Ah, refreshments. Thank you. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I will find something. You clumsy to bitch! Hey! That's enough! It was an accident. Finally, some backbone. Look, this is going to get ruined. I have to get out of this. What about our interview? You call me reschedule.
Thank you. Sure. Don't mind. It's just me today, and I could use some help. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Do you mind just taking that and putting it over there? Yeah. Here? Yeah, right there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Your eyes are tired. <clears throat> you know, it's been a while since I felt like someone. Things get busy. Uh, look, I, I wish I could be that guy with you, but I can't. You're an adult. You really can. Walk out on me and that interview is dead. You're gonna toss out a shot of fame just to feel responsible? It will never go to print. We have the best litigators in the world. All this trouble just to trip up one guy. Love. No. Duty is his drug. 